it was just enormous. As Nick Smelser scrolled through Facebook Tuesday night, she stumbled across these shocking images. I kept saying, oh my God, I don't even know how many times I said it. Her reaction, right in line with many other Glendive residents, as a massive fire burned one of the town's most historic buildings to the ground. I looked over at my husband and I said, I'm, I feel compelled to just go down there. Smelser jumped into action, driving her food truck down to the scene to help feed the first responders. First responders are like, very dear to my heart. It was a no, no brainer for me. So as soon as she said she was going down there, I was like, well, I'm based, I mean, I'll just, I'll get dressed and head down. Lacey Newton helps Smelser with her food truck on a regular basis. The two worked side by side for more than four hours preparing meals. The flames were huge. I mean, you could almost feel the warmth and we were probably, gosh, 200 yards away from the fire yet. The Jordan Hotel hasn't been open for 10 years. It was closed down due to multiple health concerns. But both Smelser and Newton say they know how important the building was to the community. I can respect the history and, you know, appreciate it. And it, it really is sad to see it up in flames. It is sad that um, this happened because it did mean so much to so many people. A local landmark now gone. But these women say they actually left the scene feeling grateful. Grateful to live in a town, always willing to lend a helping hand. Unreal how, how amazing this community is. It's inspiring and um, it's really moving. In Glendive, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.